Please let me go to hell. I'm about to go out, but I had to make this video before I leave. Also, y'all never really get to see my body. Um, yeah, I'm fine as fuck, if you didn't already know. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't know why Christians have this mindset of, I have to save everyone. Let us go to hell. Let, let us burn. What, what, why are you so gung-ho on doing this to the point to where you feel the need to push it on people, hurt people, kill people, just because you have to learn about God? I don't fucking care. Just stop. Y'all always trying to convert a motherfucker. Doesn't it say in your religious text to leave people alone if they don't want to listen to you? Did y'all miss that part? If hell is where I'm destined to go, let me go. Just... just let me go. Because let me tell you something. This shit, this earth shit, yeah, this is hell. I can deal with anything if I can deal with this. And I've said this before, if hell is the place where all of the free thinkers are, the people that question shit, the people that don't just blindly follow things, send me to hell. That's where I wanna go. Let me go, please. Your religion is dying and you're trying to fix that by converting every single person that you see. You ain't gotta save everybody, Susan. Let them go, let, let them go. The way I see it, either I'm right and none of this shit is real, I'm wrong and there's a completely other God that none of us have been talking about, or I'm wrong and this Christian God has actually been sitting here watching these atrocities happen without doing anything to stop them and sending people to hell who complain about it. So I'll go to hell happily and I might spit in his fucking face if I see his ass. If he has the audacity to be real, I have some fucking words for him. Leukemia, my guy? Like, really? Homelessness, starvation, murder, you just had to create all those things? Fuck you! Go ahead and send my ass on to hell because you're not gonna get one lick of peace if I am in heaven with you. I'm asking questions every single day for the rest of eternity, bitch, and you better have some motherfucking answers for me. He better not be real. I'll tell you that. Bitch, shut the fuck up, man. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace and salutation to the Lex God of the broad pushing his truth in sincerity. May Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechak Wadash Brak Thumb to use a quantum, Waakim You know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father Yahweh and his beloved Son, our Lord, and our Savior, and our King. Yahweh Shai HaMashiach in these last days and these perilous times that we are living in. This is Brother Pashai Ban Yasha Allah. be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai on how the proud and unbelieving woman will experience true hell in the ultimate fire. All right. What I mean by the true hell is all hell breaking loose in the society. Jacob's trouble, all right, the great tribulation, cannibalism, famine. Bloodshed, death, all right, war, martial law, FEMA camps, all right, all these gender wars, race wars, class wars, women getting raped and ravaged, like they show in movies like, and these little glimpses, because the real life is gonna be way worse, but they show in movies like The Book of Eli, The Road, all right, Mad Max Fury Road, TV shows, you know, like um, Black Summer, all right, The Walking Dead, okay. And it's another, you know, movie I'm thinking about. Can't remember the name. All right, it always escapes me. All right, it's a good movie, though. All right, all hell breaking loose. You know, different gangs carving up territory. Women, you know, catching pure hell. Children, too. All right? So, we know that ultimate fire is what? The intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Which will lead, what? That's the second death, the lake of fire. Making America a lake of fire. All right? So... That's the ultimate fire where death and hell are cast into. Understand that. You see? So this woman you see in the video that played in the intro, she was exceeding proud. I got that from the elder, Minata Zagba, down there in South Carolina. All right? He did a video four days ago going into that, you know, that topic. All right? She don't want to be saved. All right? Um, let me know. Let me, uh, let me go to hell. All right? And there's a song. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. All right? You got Sexy Red, she made a remix of that song saying, I don't want to be saved, don't save me. All right? So these hoes don't want to be saved, man. She don't want to make it. All right? She wants to die. She said, if I go to heaven, I got questions for the most high. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Right? She's, she's insane. She lost her fucking mind. That's what I started off saying, bitch, shut the fuck up, man. All right? If you don't like my language, you could, you could, you know, uh, unsubscribe. You could give it a thumbs down. All right? You can block me, all right? You can do whatever you want to do. Go to watch T.D. Jakes.
you know, over there where they get swallowed. All right, you go um go watch Creflo Dollar. Okay, uh, Joel Oystein, go watch the IYC or whatever. All right, you don't gotta watch my videos. Maybe you get offended, cause what the scripture say? They'll be rude and speech yet not in knowledge. And the word bitch is in the Bible, in the book of Sirach, the twenty-sixth chapter. A shameless woman should be counted as a dog. What is a female dog? A bitch. Get that in the GNTD. It literally says a self-willed woman is a bitch. All right, if you get offended, take it up with the Most High. And I advise you not to, because he's going to put you to death. All right, how dare you question his ways, man? All right, talking about cancer and AIDS and homelessness. All right? The Most High does what he, Look at the precepts, man. So these people don't understand the Most High. And they don't believe in Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. Look at the precepts. All right, look at the book of Psalms. Chapter 115, right, and verse 3. But our God is in the heavens. He have done whatsoever he have pleased. He do what he want to do, man. He's the most high. Who are you to question the most high? All right, look at Romans the ninth chapter. Okay. Look at Romans the ninth chapter. This is not too long, short to the point. Romans 9 and verse... What I want, man. Yeah. 14 no 13 it says Ooh. let's start at verse uh 11 for the children being being not yet born going to jacob and esau neither having done any good or evil that the purpose of the most high according to election might stand who was elect chosen that jacob not of works but of him that calleth who the most high does the calling it was said unto her the elder esau shall serve the younger jacob as is written jacob have i loved but esau have i hated what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? God forbid, meaning no. For he saved it to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Okay? It says, So then it's not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but the, of the Most High that showeth mercy. Let's jump to verse 19. It says, Thou wilt thou will say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who have resisted resisted his will. Okay? So who resisted the will of the Mosai? Yahweh You can't resist his will. Alright, he made Esau to be the wicked. He made Jacob to be the righteous. Alright. He created all these different diseases. Alright. All these different plagues and pestilences, judgments. Alright, matter of fact, the scripture said what all these created for the wicked. Look at Sirach. I believe it's 40. Uh let me see. Uh Watch this. Let's find this preset. Sirach chapter 40, yep, in verse 9. It says, Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scores. These things are created for the wicked, for their sakes came the flood. Man, that's created for the wicked. All right? So, woman like that, she's wicked. She's not the wicked. The wicked is Esau Edom, so a white man. But she is wicked. All right? Wicked woman like that gonna die. All right? It's, it's funny, too, because, uh, you know, videos like this get the most hits and plays, like the brother Shackle Don was saying. <laughs> Every time brothers, you know, curse up the black woman, all right? Certain other topics, it gets a lot of hits. You know, I wonder why, man. Brothers in it for entertainment, you know, this need that you in the wrong spirit. But we gotta get on these hoes, man. She needs to shut the fuck up. All right? So these videos must come out. Look at second urges. All right? Because it's not just only women that don't believe, you got men that don't believe, but she is, you know, clearly a, a, a BW, could be a tear. Cause she was talking crazy, man. Like she was. This woman out there that don't that don't believe, but they still have a certain fear to not say certain things. She didn't give a fuck, and she said it on pub. She said it publicly. She said it one, recorded it, then posted the video. That is a level of pride that you know I don't know, and in lack of fear on the most side, disrespect. All right, if I'm going to hell, let me go. I'd rather be in hell anyway. Well, you're already in hell, yeah. All right, but true hell is coming. All right. You think what you experience is bad when Esau give you all these fucking benefits, bitch? Second verse 15, verse 1. Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, which means unbelief, of them trouble that's been So the things he's saying, it's like, let me read it slower. I'm going to read it fast sometimes. It says, verse 3. Second verse 15, verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. All right. Incredulity means unbelief. So women like that, whoever, anyone that has that mindset, that don't trouble us, man. All right. That you don't believe. You're saying things you're saying. 
Because we understand the Most High God, Yahweh, His Son, Yahweh Shai. We understand how He works, judgments, all these different things. Like the prayer of Azariah, they, they said it. Everything you did to our nation, you did in true judgment. All right? You, you was right because we went off. Micah said what? I shall bear the indignation of the Most High because I sinned against them. You see that? So, and who scripts say what? Whoever perished being innocent, those dying of cancer, all right, those homeless, all right, you know, uh, beggars. What did King David say? I've never, I've never seen a righteous forsaken his seed begging bread. So those are the homeless men that's on the streets, bugged out their mind, they, they, the most high jacking them up, man. All right, because they sins in this lifetime and they past lives. All right, are there certain men in less, you know, conditions that the, the Lord could raise up and bring to the truth? Of course, have someone bless them with some money, some food, shelter. Yeah, all right, but we, we. We, we thinking spiritual here, man. There's a lot of judgment going on. All right? Verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You're going to die, man. Woman like that going to get put to death, man. She's going to die a horrible one, man. The way she was, she was talking crazy, man. The scripture say what? Uh, watch this, man. In the book of Matthew 12. We're going to start at verse straight to the point. 35, a good man out of the good treasure of his heart, his mind, his lob, bring forth good things. And an evil man, in this case a woman, all right, out of the evil treasure of bringing forth evil things. So everything she thought in her mind, she brought it out, all right, it was evil. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be judged, justified, Salakia, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. All right, so she's condemned, meaning what? She's damned. All right, she's already damned. For what? This condemnation. You see, I just thought around the preset. Secondary 16. Oh, praise y'all, Bashim Shot. Secondary 16, we're going to start at verse like 60. Let me see. Nope, let's start at verse. Yep, 62. Yea, in the spirit of the Almighty power, which made all things and searched out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. Surely he know for your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sin. Therefore, have the Lord exactly searched out all your works. So everyone again, the scripture what? He's searching Jerusalem with candles. All right. And he will put you all to shame. And when your sins are brought forth. Now, when your sins are brought forth before you, for that woman right there. All right. Because you know, she's, she said what? What she said too before the video started. And look at me. I'm, you know, I'm fine. You know, she, so she's proud. Thinks she look all good. Well, she's chopped. All right, she's a cum bucket. All right, she she used to get popped and then and passed aside, man. All right, that's all she's good for. All right, Cause look, 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 she's showing. She ain't showing, you know. She ain't covering up. Tight ass, skin tight, you know. Dress easy, uh, lifted up easily, get popped very quick. All right, they're talking all type of proudness uh, to the to the Most High and believers in the Most High. All right, yeah, she was attacking the Christianity world. All right, Underst with the with the understanding of hell and heaven or whatever. All right, you you ain't making it to the kingdom on this side, bitch. You are gonna die. All right, you are gonna taste that fire. You you're talking about you won't burn in hell? I bet. Well, you gonna burn in that fire, man. All right, you you good for nothing, man. You see that? Just shut your mouth. It says, where am I, man? Right, verse six. Therefore, have the Lord exactly such out all your works and will put you all to shame. And when your sin that brought forth, you shall be ashamed before men. And your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. So your own sins are going to accuse you in that day. All right? Because you're a servant of sin. All right? Refuse to get right. And most of that stuff was private. It warn you to get right, repent. And how dare you, you know, mock, you know? Which, you know, like I said, she was talking about the Christianity world. But I won't be surprised you came across the men of the Lord, the prophets. that got cut to the heart, man. Right? It says, what will you do and how will you hide your sins before the most high is angels? You see, you can't hide your sins. Said, Behold, the Most High Himself is the judge. Fear Him. Leave off from your sins. Forget your iniquities. To meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Man, because trouble is coming upon this earth. All right. So women like that are gonna get judged in horrific ways, man. Like, like badly. Matter of fact, there's so many come to my mind, and I want to make this too long, straight to the point. Yeah, let's get a few of these, man. Yeah, let's get a few. Let's get Daniel 12, right? And we'll get verse 10. All right? Daniel 12 and verse 10. It says, Many shall be purified and made white, the elect and tried. Gotta go through them trials. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise 
She understands. That's why she can't get it because she's wicked. And she's what? And she mentioned too, if I'm predestined for something, she said, well, guess what? You are predestined to the condemnation. It was predestined to not get it. You predestined to get put to death. Why? Because you're proud. Look at Proverbs 16 and verse 18. All right. Proverbs the 16th chapter and verse 18 and it reads, Pride goeth before destruction and in haughty spirit before a fall. She gonna fall flat on her fat ass face, man. All right. It says, better is it to be in a, of a humble spirit with, with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud, man. So I don't want to be around people like that, man. With that mindset. All right. Why? Because they get trodden down. They get Micah 7 to 10 in the streets. Micah 7 to 10. Then she that is mine enemy, brothers, sisters, a woman like that is your enemy. All right. You cannot hang out with a woman like that, man. Or a person like that. I'll say that a person like that, men, women, or ch child, <laughs> you know, it says, then she that's mine enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her with said unto me, where is the Lord? Yahweh thy power. All right. Like she was just mocking him. Where's the most high? All this can cancer, homelessness, this. Ah, ah, I got a lot of things that I want to say to him and all of this. I'm a he not going to be able to rest for the eternity. If I'm up there, <laughs> you fucking insane. Are you like she's insane? Like she don't know the Bible. She don't know the most high, man. You read these precepts. Let's see what happened to the woman that spoke out. What happened to Miriam? Turn to leprous. All right. What happened to Jezebel? Eaten by dogs. See that? There's other woman in scripture got this judge, man, for their wickedness, man. All right, it's more accounts. I'm trying to think of a few. It's a few, man. Oh, Judges 21st chapter, the one that played the hard against the, the uh, Levite, she got gang raped to death. All right, gang raped to death. Judgments all throughout the scriptures, man. Stop playing with the Most High Yahweh Are you crazy? It says, "Mine eye shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mine of the streets." All right. So, women like that is gonna get, get. Oh my goodness, man. Psalms. 69 and it's funny like i said earlier man like yeah as, you know i just had to get on a black woman again yep yes i did you know i had to make a video on these on these holes man because like i seen that video clip i was yo that pissed me off some man like how dare you who are you who are you all right to question the ways of your house shy and she did it proudly talking shit like well like you're gonna be able to speak to the most out however you want to speak and how to take it like Boma speaking to Lord Beerus, you know, no. <laughs> Most likely going to kill you, man. All right. You got to get changed and then you're going to realize everything you said. You're like, I was insane. How I would never. And I, and truth be told, that would never happen. She just talking to her ass because in, in, in reality, that would never happen. No one will ever speak against the Most High like that to his face in, in the in the kingdom or something. All right. She can say that right here on this earth because the, the power is given to him to the wicked. She able to say those certain things and no judgment happens to her. But now in the, now in the future, in the very near future, major judgment. Look at Psalm 69 verse 22. It says, it's a, a prayer of King David. It says, let their table become a snare before them and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. So this truth, this gospel, the word is a trap to people like that. All right. It's supposed to be for their welfare, but it's a trap, it's a snare to them. All right. They can't get it and they get mad at it. They get offended. All right. Let their eyes be darkened that they they see not, and make not their loins continually to shake. Pour out thy indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold on them. It's a, he's sending a curse to them, man. All right? King David is saying, man, don't even let them get it. Block from understanding it. Let it be a snare to them, a trap. Then, then judge their ass. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. You see? So that's the mindset that we have through the spirit of Pahyal Bashim Al Shai. All right? So that's why let's get Jeremiah. All right, let's get the book of Jeremiah. I believe that's what I want. Let me see. Um, there's so many to get. Matter of fact, before I get that, let's get this uh second Thessalonians very quick. Second Thessalonians chapter two. Straight to the point. Quick precept. It says, verse 12, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. You know, God, you know well she's living in pleasure, she's dead while she liveth. She going to the clubs, the bars, get popped, tossed to and fro. Probably got a doctor's degree, college degree, got ran through in college, adultery, stepping out on her man, all right, sleeping with her man's best friend, all right, smoking weed, black and mouths and cigarettes, okay, uh, into witchcraft and sorcery, all right, got all type of dildos in her, in her top dresser or her nightstand, all right, nastiness, man, nastiness. So she had pleasure and watching this, man. So she damned because she don't believe this truth. 
All right? That's what Jeremiah 11 and 14 now. Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 14. And it reads, Therefore pray thou not for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. The most I'm not going to hear her cries when she getting gang raped by Moabites and Russians and uh, Venezuelans. All right? What's all Jake's? All right? When all hell break loose in society, immigrants are just grab her ass up and just demolishing her ass, man. All right? And also, look at Matthew 4 and 7. What did the Lord Yahweh Shah say? Because she's tripping. Matthew 4 and 7. Yahweh Shah said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord Yahweh thy power. She tempted the most high, man. All right? All that shit she's talking, the most I can hold her. I bet. Say less. All right? Look at 1 Samuel, the second chapter, verse 3. Talk no more exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord, Yahweh is the power of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. So she being weighed. Her actions are being weighed. Things she's saying and put into practice is being weighed. All right? And she's talking all, all type of shit. All type of proud. Look at Job 2 and 9. All right? Because this reminds me of Job's wife. Job 2 and verse 9, it says, Then said his wife unto him, This is after Job catching all the hell. Does thou still retain thy integrity? Curse the Most High and die. See that? So... People going through certain things and elements, or whatever. People like that woman that don't understand, or, you know, have faith in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, understand judgment and things of that nature, or tests and trials and chastisements, going to just want to curse the Most High and die. You know, like she did. She cursed the Most High, and now she's going to die. All right? Point blank, period. She's going to get put to death, man. I mean, if one more precept, I guess, of course, Isaiah 32 and verse 9, rise be one of our ease. Many days and years should be trouble. Matter of fact, I'm going to get it. <laughs> Isaiah 32 verse 9, it says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give ear to my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackle upon your loins. All right? Because y'all gonna get judged horrifically in these last days, man. Point blank, period. Last one is Luke. All right? Luke chapter 12, no, 13 and verse 3, right? I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. So she got to repent, all right? Matter of fact, it's a scripture that says what? Those that now seek the Lord, God of Israel, all right? Let me get that. Let me see where you at. Is it in the Chronicles? I mean, enough with this one, man. This is a classic precept. I always forget where it's at. All praise Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. 2 Chronicles 15 and verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord, Yahweh, power of Israel, will seek him by Hashem in the name Yahweh Shai, right? Should be put to death. So if you don't, you don't want to seek him, you want to live your life and curse him out and think you think you saying something cool and funny. <laughs> yeah, she's right. She got a point, man. Whoever believe in that bitch, hearken to that bitch, going to die with that bitch. All right, whether small or great, whether man or woman, most of the respect the persons, man, and neither has prophets. All right, and we're raw with our words, man. This had to come out raw because she came out raw to the most. How dare she do that, man? So this came out raw. All right, so women like that, when we get judged, man, men too, that's like boozy, sticking the middle finger to the most high. All right, the most I delivered him out of death row. All right, because he could, but I guess who ultimately the most are preserving him. I'd rather say that he, the most I didn't deliver boozy, he preserved him. Said you die in that death row sentence it's a prison, you're gonna taste the nuclear missiles. All right, you're gonna experience the loss of children, the loss of all these things. All right, your money, your fame. You're gonna be thrown in a camp in uh, Louisiana, wherever you this nigga from, with other Jakes, man. And oh shit, that's boosty. All right, you're in a corner shriveling, scared as motherfucker by your head child up and tortured unless you take the mark of the beast. All right, and that bitch gonna take the mark of the beast, that, that, that other woman. So, like I, you know, I mentioned men too. You know, it's not just about the, but hey, video clip I seen, hey, who was that speaking? A beast. <laughs> it was a, that was a beast. That was a monster, a demon. All right. But with that, let's give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha, Kudash, the honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace, and salutation to the elect. Scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wababa, Shalom.